The following video is intended for factory authorized and distributor authorized servicing agents. Maltalk ICE encourages the use of authorized service agents to perform these procedures to avoid downtime and problems. Hello, I'm Jonathan and welcome to Manitowoc ICE's Tech Tips. In this video, we'll be covering the Indigo Next ICE Thickness Probe troubleshooting. The ICE Thickness Probe controls the thickness of the ice formed on the evaporator by initiating the harvest. We're going to need some necessary hand tools such as a Phillips screwdriver with a 5 16 inch nut driver, a moldy meter, a 7 mm gauge or gapping tool, or we can use a 7 mm or 9 30 second drill bit that's been sanitized if you don't happen to have a gapping tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Step 1. Remove all the ice from the evaporator when present by turning the ice machine off and allowing it to melt. You may choose to initiate a manual harvest through the display by pressing Menu, Service, Manual Harvest, and then press Turn on Manual Harvest while the ice machine is on and in ice mode. Do not attempt to chisel or force ice off the evaporator. Damage may occur. Step 2. After the ice is clear from the evaporator, press the on off button and turn the ice machine off. Step 3. Disconnect power from the ice machine and perform any necessary log out, tag out procedures. Step 4. Inspect the ice thickness probe, referred to as the ITP, for any physical damage. On the face of the ITP, look for bulging or cracks. Also, look for deformed pivot pins and or pivot pin arms. The ITP is not dishwasher safe, meaning high temperatures can warp the ITP. Follow the cleaning procedures outlined in the install use and care manual. Step 5. Verify proper ITP gap is at 9 30 seconds of an inch or 7 millimeters. We're using a sanitized drill bit, rolling it up the evaporator surface as a gauge to adjust the ITP. Step 6. Make sure the ice thickness probe wire and the bracket do not restrict the movement of the probe. Step 7. Reapply power to the ice machine and confirm the ice machine is in off mode. Step 8. Navigate to the real time input screen on the interface by pressing Menu, Service, Diagnostics, Inputs, and view the 100Hz and 120Hz FFTs. They will fluctuate depending on the amount of ambient noise. Step 9. Remove the water curtain or splash shield if present. Lift the ITP and carefully tap on the face of the probe with your finger for at least 10 seconds. The ice probe FFTs should increase by at least 3000 above the initial reading. If the initial reading numbers displayed do not change or the initial numbers did not increase by 3000 during the tap test, verify the ice thickness probe connector is properly plugged into the board and the wiring is in the correct positions with the plug. With the connector plugged into the board, the top left position should be blank, the top right position should be the twisted ground wire, the bottom left should be the black wire, pin number two, and the bottom right should be the red wire, pin number one. If the wiring is incorrect, replace the ITP. Step 10. Next, we're gonna check the control board for the correct output voltage. Unplug the ITP and set a voltmeter to the DC voltage scale. Then measure voltage across pin 1, positive, with the red lead, and pin 2, negative, with the black wire lead. 
If the voltage measures 3.25 to 3.35 volts DC, the control board is functioning correctly and the problem is with the ITP. If the voltage does not measure between 3.25 to 3.35, replace the control board. Thank you for viewing this video. Please try one of our other training types, whether it's webcast, field training, or factory training. To find Manitowoc Ice's training schedules, please visit our website, manitowocice.com service training.